Edexcel A-Level Maths, Statistics, October 2020, Question 3. Each member of a group of 27 people was timed when completing a puzzle. The time taken, X minutes, for each member of the group was recorded. These times are summarised in the following box and whisker plot. For part A, we need to find the range of the times. So the range is the largest value, so that cross on the far right at 68, minus the lowest value, so the leftmost value of this is the end of that left-hand whisker at 7, so 68 minus 7, we have a range of 61. And for part B, we need to find the interquartile range of the times. So for this, we need to find the upper and lower quartiles. These are the two edges of the box. So the upper quartile is the right-hand edge of the box at 25. The lower quartile is the left-hand edge of the box at 14. So the interquartile range is 25 minus 14, which is 11. For these 27 people, sigma x equals 607.5 and sigma x squared equals 17,623.25. For part c, we need to calculate the mean time taken to complete the puzzle. So the mean, as always, is the sum of all our values divided by how many values we've got. So in this case, we have mu is equal to sigma x over n, which is 607.5 divided by 27. So 22.5. For part D, we need to calculate the standard deviation of the times taken to complete the puzzle. So our standard deviation sigma is the square root of sigma x squared over n minus mu squared. Putting our values into that, we have the square root of 17,623.25 over 27 minus the 22.5 that we've just worked out squared. So the square root of 146.46, which is 12.1. Taruni defines an outlier as a value more than three standard deviations above the mean. For part E, we need to state how many outliers Taruni would say there are in these data, giving a reason for our answer. So our mean is 22.5, standard deviation is 12.1. So three standard deviations away from the mean is 22.5 plus 3 times 12.1, which is 58.8. Looking at the box and whisker plot, there's only one value bigger than that. That's the 68 on the far right-hand side. So there's only one outlier. Adam and Beth also completed the puzzle in A minutes and B minutes, respectively, where A is larger than B. When their times are included with the data of the other 27 people, the median time increases the mean time does not change. For part F, we need to suggest a possible value for A and a possible value for B, explaining how our values satisfy the above conditions. So we've got that the median time has increased. So for the median time to increase, both of those values need to be larger than the current median of 20. We also know that the mean time does not change. So for that to be the case, the mean of A and B has to be the same as the current mean, 22.5 or for that to be the case they would need to add together to give 45 so we just need any two values for a and b that match those two i've just gone for a equals 23 and b equals 22. as i say there are plenty of other values that would fit them just make sure your a is larger on your b as well without carrying out any further calculations we need to explain why the standard deviation of the current 29 values will be lower than the standard deviation found in part D. Well, we know that both values, the 23 and the 22, are less than one standard deviation from the mean. Our standard deviation is 12.1 away from the mean of 22.5, hence the new standard deviation will be lower. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.